Hi, welcome to my channel where I share my knowledge on programming DJI Tello drones with Python. Today, we're going to look at streaming video from the drone's forward facing camera. And to do this, we're going to take a deep dive into the DJI Tello Pi library to understand the Tello class and its attributes and methods and how we use them to accomplish this video streaming. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we are in PyCharm and I've went ahead and I've I've wrote all the code for us so that we can go through it and understand it better. So first up here, we have our imports. We're importing OpenCV. This is typed to CV2. And this is how we're going to perform our video processing. And then, of course, to get our Tello class and our Tello object, we're going to use the DJI Tello Pi library. Now we're going to ignore this process video function I've defined here. And we're going to skip to our main function, where we initialize our drone object. We establish a connection with the drone. And this is a new command. This is the drone stream on command. I'll explain this now. Here we are in the Tello module of the DJI Tello Pi library, and we're going to understand what is happening by sending the stream on method to the Tello class. If we look here in the Tello class, we can see its attributes. We have an attribute here that we define as stream on, and it's set to false. Now, when we initialize our Tello object, we are also going to set the stream on to false. I'm not going to go into the specifics as they do not particularly they don't particularly pertain to just displaying the video stream. But it is important to know that like the flying attribute, this is how the Tello object knows whether or not it's supposed to be communicating its video feed. Now to the stream on command. So here is the stream on method of the Tello class. This simply turns on the video stream by sending a control to command so the drone knows to turn it on, and then it sets that stream on attribute to true. Similarly, the stream off method down here sends the control command which the drone knows and acknowledges as stream off, and then it sets the stream on attribute to false. Now that we understand this, we're going to go into getting our frames and showing them. We are now ready to look at our process video function. It takes our Tello object as an argument, which we've called drone. In this function, we start a while loop. And by setting it to true, this means that the loop just executes over and over and over again until it's broken out of. So what are we looping over? We're going to loop over the frames read from the drone. How do we get this frame? Well, we can get the current frame, we'll call it frame, by calling the Tello class and its get frame read method. We have to call the current frame on this in order to receive the actual background frame read, which is somewhat confusing. So let's look at the Tello module and gain a deeper understanding of this before continuing. We're now looking at the get frame read method of the Tello class states here that get the background frame read object from the camera drone. This is another class located in the Tello module, and we're just going to leave it at that for now. But we'll also note that in this comment it states, then you just need to call background frame read dot frame to get the actual frame received by the drone. This returns the background frame read instance, as we can see here also. We're going to quickly look at the class here. This is the class also in the Tello module, class background frame read. Note here that this comment states this class reads frames from a video capture in the background using, and then we use background frame read dot frame to get the current frame. Now that we understand how we're getting the current frame from the drone, we're going to return to our function. Here in our while loop, which continually executes until it's broken out of, we grab our current frame. So of course, what are we going to do with this? We're going to want to display it to C. We do this using the OpenCV's IMShow method. This takes in two arguments, the name of the window, which we're just going to label frame, and then the image to show. That's our frame. So this is going to allow us to show the image. For this to work properly, as a video, we have to use the wait key method of OpenCV, cv2.waitkey. We want to use this with an argument of one because we're processing video. If this was only images, we could use zero, but we want to have a delay in between when we want to update the current frame shown. So by setting this to one, 
each time we get the current frame and then we show it, we're going to wait for one millisecond and then we're going to reiterate and loop back to the top and perform this recursion over and over again until it's broken so that the frames are constantly updated and we're seeing what seems to be a live video feed from the drone's camera. Now this extra line here, the and 0xff equals ORD character Q. This allows the user to break out of the while loop by pressing the Q key. I won't go into too deep of details with this, but just know for now that this is how we can get keyboard input using the OpenCV library. And in particular, we're using the, the Q key to allow us to break out of the while loop. Because like I said, this is going to continue to go and go and go until we have a way to break out of it. And this is our break. So say the Q key is pressed, we break out, and we destroy all the windows. Now, one final thing to do besides destroy all windows, we also need to end the Tello object. Now, why are we doing this? Let's look. When we call end, we first check the isFlying attribute and have it land if it is true. Then we want to check the self.stream on attribute we previously discussed. This is why I want to show us, and I want us to implement this end method because we did not turn the stream off as explicitly. So by calling end, this sends the stream off command to the drone since it will be set to true after we call the stream on command at the beginning of our program. That is all there is to it though. We destroy all the windows and we clean up. I think we're ready to test this now. So let's see how it looks. So here I am with the Tello and I've already connected to its Wi-Fi source. So now we are ready to go ahead and start our program. So let's hit run. Let's pull this up here. We'll see what's going on. So we've sent the command to connect. So you can see it's connecting from its light here. Stream is on. How do we know this? The light turns pink, which is not very easily noticeable here. But you do know because you'll have a window. Now you're seeing me through two different cameras. Tello camera. My computer's camera. Now we've successfully streamed video. Thanks a lot for watching.